This is an opinion column. This isn't the column I set out to write. The column I intended started something like this. KIV should have learned better by now. Four years ago, Ivy kicked off her first campaign for governor by bragging about protecting history, specifically, a law she signed to stop cities from removing Confederate monuments from public spaces. It was her first campaign ad that season. That's what she started with. Not education. Not job creation. A racist bill that created more problems than it solved. And it was a move she should have come to regret. A year after she won that campaign, an Auburn University researcher discovered a recording of a younger Ivy talking about wearing blackface in a campus variety show. Ivy got ahead of the scandal by calling lawmakers and asking for their forgiveness. That wasn't the person she was anymore, she told them. She had changed. Only the monuments bill showed she hadn't. And four years later, she still hasn't learned a dang thing. Last week, Ivy dropped her first social media spot of the campaign. In it she brags about protecting sports, specifically, a law she signed to prevent trans athletes from participating in high school sports opposite their gender at birth. Here in Alabama, boys play boys sports and girls play girls sports, Ivy says in a six-second clip. What's next, Governor? It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. That's how the column was going to start. From there, I was going to wag my finger at Ivy, first for pandering again, and second for ignoring important stuff for the sake of pandering. Important stuff like education. Important stuff like the economy. Important stuff that's likely to affect most Alabamians, not another moral panic issue where no one has yet shown me an example of the thing actually happening. The problem with that column, though, was that a couple of ugly facts got in the way. To start with, it wasn't the first spot Ivy had shared on social media. It was her fifth. I had wrongly thought it was her first because it was the first I had seen. And a little light paddling down the Twitter stream revealed something else, not many folks had seen the others, either. Nor did those who had seen him show much interest in them. Ivy had cut a spot on education. Twitter shows that video has 665 views. Her video bragging on Alabama's post-pandemic recovery and low unemployment got even less attention with 411 views. An introductory spot talking about her optimism for the next four years did a smidge better with 1,000 views, as did one where she gripes about cancel culture, which got 1,200. And the six seconds of hate for trans kids playing ball? It got 39,100 views. Not only that, but the video got more shares, more comments and more likes than all the other videos put together. Sure. I know Twitter isn't real life, as political pundits keep reminding us and then forgetting themselves. 